Oh. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. This is Pokemon Go for Let Yourself Emerald. Let's play by me, Fleddenmon 14. Yeah. Alright. Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Emerald. Uh, last time we arrived here on Slateport Beach and we played beach volleyball. That's right. Yep. Pokemon style. You see, the way you play is you have to toss one Pokeball, one Great Ball, and one Ultra Ball, and uh, keep them all in the air at the same time. Yep, it's like juggling, but... Uh... <laughs> anyway, we have just arrived in Slate Port City. Oh man, you hear that music? Oh, oh, it's amazing. This guy's talking about this lighthouse here. Uh, by the way, uh, do you guys know if anything, and I mean anything... You know, as far as the special event happens at the Slateport Lighthouse, I don't think it does. You know, this isn't Slateport Market. Unique items found nowhere else. Yes. Um, but yeah, I don't think anything significant. Uh, and we're going to come back and check out this place here in a minute. But uh, if I can get through here, this lady won't move out the way. Move it, lady. I got some healing to do. But, uh, uh oh, oh boy, man. Foreshadowing, bunch of Team Aqua guys right there. But yeah, I don't think this is like a, you know, gold and uh, silver and crystal where anything important at all happens at the lighthouse. But yeah, you talk about a real lighthouse. That lighthouse was huge. All right, so we're just gonna in this video, you know, go around and talk to everyone. Tip for battling, raising different kinds of Pokemon and balance spinner. Yes, yes, yes. Type disadvantage minus ten chance. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. But yeah, in this video, we're just gonna kind of go around, check out the town, check out Slateport City. I trade Pokemon with my friends. Uh, yes, you can trade in Pokemon, um, but depending on its level, you know, if its level is too high, it won't obey you. I think at this point, Pokemon up to level, excuse me, I want to say thirty will obey you, but eh, don't quote me on that. But yeah, trading, a uh, great way to play, fun way to play, by the way. Uh, especially because you can get some of those, market does have interesting merchandise, only uh, some items in a Pokemon, that is true. Ah, Great Ball, yes. Better than a Pokeball. We're going to buy some. But uh, also going to sell some of my stuff if I don't want it. Uh, but, oh, wow, I already have 13 somehow. Huh, okay. Well, uh, yeah. But yeah, trading Pokemon, great way to play, uh, as I've said. Uh, especially because, you you know, you can actually get an advantage pretty much on any gym uh, that you need to. You know, uh, like for instance, if you were facing the fire type gym, yeah, you could trade, you know, one of your friends, one of your buddies for some of the, you know, awesome, you know, late game water Pokemon, which... You know, I, I kind of recommend you do anyway, especially in this game. You know, mainly because you don't get access to, you know, the good water types until, you know, really late in the game. <laughs> and then they put the fire gym before that, too, which is kind of like, yeah, you know, it's kind of it's kind of cheap, uh, let's face it. But, uh, eh, you know, it's a good challenge. What's that over there, that long line? Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, do you know what's going on here? Stern, the fellow who built the museum, also happens to be the leader of an undersea un exploration team. So everyone called him Captain Stern. Oh, really? Okay. Hey there, quit pushing. This is a line. Can't you see? Uh, oh, okay. Team Aqua has a policy of assembling and dispersing at the operation site. Oh, okay. Cool. What do you got to say? Our boss is brilliant. What would he want to do with the museum now? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe record Night of the Museum, Team Aqua edition? Yeah, yeah. I should have bought my Game Boy Advance so I wouldn't get bored in line. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. And we're just going to stand in line. We're going to cut. We're going to cut in line here. <laughs> oh, what? What? What do you want? You want to read this sign? I'll read it for you. Let's see. Uh, I think it says uh, something like, The life in the sea is endless. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Dude, this dude is totally lying. You know he's lying. You know, he's Team Aqua. He's a bad guy. He's lying. Watch, we'll check, we'll check out the sign later. He's lying. When this operation's over, I'll take you to a hot springs spa. Ah, that's uh, 
That's a little foreshadowing as well. That's what our leader said. I can't wait. Ah, uh, hmm, who knew? Hey, you there. Don't butt in. <laughs> if there's something we need in the museum, we should take it all. Yeah. What's the new scheme, I wonder? Our boss is scary when he's mad, so I better not screw things up. Oh, okay. Yeah, true. A long line, huh? Reminds me of the time I lined up to buy Smash Hit games. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Speaking of Smash Hit games, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon just came out. And, yeah, I can only imagine the line for that. Or for, you know, Black Friday was just uh, a couple days ago. So, whew, man, if any of you guys survived either of those two things, props to you. I, I, I just couldn't do it. I, I'm, I'm just saying. Why are we even lining up and paying we should just march in oh man this guy's tough he's he's got the right idea that's the way to be a criminal uh the port where people and pokemon cross paths oh man and that's just a little funny dialogue here <laughs> from all the team aqua goons <laughs> Whew, i'm just bushed i hopped over from ballville city but boy oh, oh, i can't breathe this city's huge if i'd known this i would have ridden my bike here oh okay well slateport harbor uh, yeah, we'll go in here and check it out. Actually, is there anything really going on here? I don't think so. These guys kind of just talk about a little, uh, something, something. I wanted to go with Captain Stern on the ocean floor exemption. Yeah, the sub's too small for me. If I squeeze in there, there wouldn't be any room for the captain. Oh well. That's okay. Keep, keep dreaming, man. You'll get to go, uh, dive underwater someday, I'm sure. A journey to the bottom of the sea. Huh. I'd love to go deep under water like that someday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beg your pardon, you're looking for a ship? Uh, yeah, there's nothing available here right now, but, um, well, really until after you beat the Elite Four, so. Yeah, look forward to that coming back at the end of the game here in Slayport. I'm gonna compete in the Battle Tent 2, but for that, I need to catch some Pokemon. Um, actually, I'm not too sure about that. Find it, the ultimate Pokemon. Yeah, actually, guy, you may not need to catch any Pokemon here. Uh, yeah, this is the Battle Tent site. Yeah, yeah, Battle. Here they have a tournament, and uh, yeah, let's get some info about it. And they hold Battle Swap events. Yeah, using rental Pokemon. So see, you don't even need to, you know, uh, use your own team member. Yeah, yeah. First, you're alone three Pokemon. Then you use the supplied rental Pokemon. You conduct a single battle, and if you win. Yeah, you can trade one of those rental Pokemon for another. Uh, and you basically keep the process going uh, to you win three times in a row. So, uh, let's see, shall we do that in this video? Wouldn't it be nice if we were older? Oh, and they had more of a selection. Yes, yes, I'm sure it would be. I don't really like bug Pokemon. Maybe I'll try out using some for a change of pace. Ah, yeah, see, there you go, guy. Variety is the spice of life. You can battle all you want here, even if you don't have any tough Pokemon. Yes, 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 that is true. So, like, I couldn't find myself any Pokemon that were, like, for me, you know what I mean? So, I figured, like, hey, I should file a complaint to the guy over there, and he wouldn't hear me out. Like, hey, so, like, Total Bomber Man, oh, man, this guy's, like, going on a rant here. Hey, like, you zip it, you know? Just, you know, take this. Oh, we get TM41, which is, uh, Torment, by the way, which is, obviously, this guy's feeling tormented. Torment, I'm tormenting you. That's like TF41, you know. Hey, it's Torment, you hear me? Like, it won't let the other guy use the same move twice in a row, see? Now, <laughs> hey, now, you, listen here. Like, I'm not laying the Torment on you. Uh, actually, you kind of were, bro. Man, he was fired up. But, uh, no, we'll come back to uh, the uh, battle tents uh, here in a minute. Uh, so, name Raiders House. Yes, you can get your nicknames rated here. And uh, basically here you can uh, change your nickname uh, if you so desire. Uh, you know what? I think I may want to do that. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, what do you think about Flood and Mon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is a fine name. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, Flood and Mon is now sort of a teenager, so... You know, he's level 16. He's, uh... He's getting to that age, you know, he's about to, you know, uh, yeah, kind of, uh, you know, be more than just a mon. Now he's, uh, 
he's sort of growing up, so uh, he's becoming more of a, uh, I'd say more of a flooding man. Yeah, yeah. A small change, but we will make it. Yes, thank you. All right, and that's how it's done. Easy to change your nickname, you know, if you so desire. Uh, what's this guy have to say? If you want to change Pokemon's nickname, uh, yeah, yeah, I just did, bro. Anyway, this is the Pokemon Fan Club. All fans of Pokemon. All right, and uh, let's see who we have back here. I love seeing Pokemon that love their trainers. Uh, yeah. If you treat your Pokemon with love, they'll love you back. Oh, okay. Um, apparently we have a Pokemon that really adores us, so this lady is going to give us a nice gift. Oh, the Soothe Bell, okay. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Soothe Bell is a hold item that, um, basically increases your friendship. Um, you know, as long as you have the Pokemon holding the item, so there you go. Do Pokemon enjoy having items used on them? Mine act really happy when I gave it some protein. Oh yeah, I bet it did. <clears throat> I am the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. Being the chairman, I'm naturally the most important. No one can best me to when it comes to raising Pokemon. No one. Oh, okay. Well, let me tell you about Pokemon contests. Ah, yes, we will be doing this later. That events where one can show off Pokemon for the world to see. However, they're held in far off towns, so I cannot participate often enough. That's why we gather here to show off our Pokemon and have others show us theirs. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's it. Huh, I thought that guy might give you something like the chairmans of old, but uh, I guess not. I think they changed things over here in Emerald, actually, so. Where's that? Yeah. <laughs> A Pokemon totally rules. It's cooler than any Pokemon. I was lipping off with a swagger in my step like that when the chairman chewed me out. That took the swagger out of my step. Oh, so you ain't got swagger, bro? Oh, okay. If you'd like, I teach some moves swagger to a Pokemon of yours. This one can only learn once. Is that alright? Alright, who wants to get their swag on? Okay, cool. Well, this is a good move. What it does is uh sharply raises the attack of the Pokemon you use it on, and then it confuses them, so, yeah, pretty cool, uh, you know, I think I'll teach to Mega Minato, yeah, he's kind of a tank, you know, tank, so, even if they do, you know, bust through the confusion, uh, easily dealt with, ooh, wow, do I really want to get rid of Tackle, well, yeah, why not, it is just Tackle, dude, Tackle sucks, oh, so, yeah, there we go, all right, Mega Minato got a swagger on. I'll just praise my Pokemon from now on without the swagger. Oh, yeah. There you go, buddy. Uh, what's up, lady? It's plain to see that you love lavish your love on your marrow. Okay, it's named Mega Minato. Can I ask you a favor? Oh, okay. Yeah, she's running a survey, so... We'll just, uh... When I first met Meryl, what did I feel? Um, I'm gonna say, uh... Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest about this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say happy, yeah, yeah. Cause I found one with huge power. Man, that took me a while, you know, to find too. So, okay, that makes sense. The next question might be a little on the tough side. Here goes. What do Pokemon mean to you? Um, well, I could say like partner or oh, oh, that's what I'll say. I'll say friend. You know, if it's in here. So, friend, uh, friends. Yeah, friend. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we'll just play it honest. Hmm. Okay, thanks for helping me out. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, might end up on TV? Okay, cool. If you keep letting the Pokemon faint battle, it'll come to resent it. Ah, uh, yeah, that is true. <laughs> so, in other words, it certainly won't like you very much. Yep. Got that right, man. Alright, moving on. Wow. I feel like all I've been doing is talking this video. But there is a lot to check out here in Slateport, as you can see. Big city. Uh, yes. Heals itself by cheering on berries. Uh, yeah. Medicine for berries? What? What is she talking about? Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And she has the uh, berry crush machine, which is at the direct corner. Um, don't know if I'll be able to show this, but, uh, maybe I will. But, uh, TM Secret Power, ah, come back and I'll show it, we'll accept you as a member and sell you good stuff in secrecy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what kind of stuff? Uh, talking about uh, those special ice cream cones I heard about? Eh, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those would be good on Slateport Beach, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, look at this. The seaweed you get around these parts is fresh and full of life. Why? Wow. Even looks like it can brew up an attack. Oh, really? Wow. Deadly seaweed indeed. <laughs> yeah, she gets carried away and buys too much stuff. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Uh, well, dude, the apparently the ch chair lady of the fan club <laughs> thinks my mirror loves me, so screw you, you know? I'm the energy guru. Yes, sell you what you need. Uh, so this guy will sell you the, uh, oh, how shall we say, the, uh, the, you know, kind of like testosterone and the, uh, you know, illegal drugs of this game. Well, they're not really illegal, though. But, um, these are permanent stat raisers, unlike Axe Attacks and X Defense, which only last one battle. Uh, yeah, Calcium Special Attack, Zinc Special Defense. If I were to come back here, these are probably the items I'd be buying the most of. Just saying. You know, because we're using an all-water team. And that's pretty much what's going to matter. Special Attack, Special Defense, and so... Oh yeah, I already talked to you. But anyway, we're just about through here with Slate Park Market. Welcome! How may I serve you? Oh, and they sell dolls here for your... Well, that's actually for something else. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil what that's for. Alright, and what do you got to say? Oh, yeah, yeah, we checked that out. Gyms are fun, but the battle tent's awesome in its own way. Yeah, yeah, that is true. And what's up, Sailor? Hey! Do you know what they do with old ships that become too creaky to sell? No, I actually have no idea. They sink them in the sea so they become habitats for Pokemon. Oh, wow. That's interesting. You're a trainer, aren't you? Since you came to Slateport City, it must be going to the battle tent. Wow, everyone keeps recommending this battle tent, so maybe... Maybe we ought to go check it out, huh? Maybe there's something important there, huh? Eh, maybe. Where the water is clean, the fruits of bountiful harvest gather. And where people gather, a market soon starts. That is how a town is born and grows. Oh, wow. Well. Paint such a good picture with that. Thank you, thank you. The sea is just so vast. Could the sea have been made by tears shed by Pokemon? Uh, highly unlikely, man. I, I just gotta tell you, I've heard some crazy things, you know, here playing Pokemon, and that's probably one of the craziest. Stern Shipyard. Ah, Stern. Well, yes, if you guys remember, that's our whole reason for being here is to find Captain Stern. Wanted, a sailor capable of sailing in all currents. Huh. A sailor, huh? Well, you know, uh, we just rode with Mr., uh, what's his face? Mr. Briny. He seemed to be pretty, uh, pretty capable, so. The weather, where the moon sits in the sky. These and other conditions make the sea change its expression. That's right. The sea is like a living thing. Oh, oh, you don't have to tell me, man. I'm the, I'm the all-water expert, man. You already know. I get seasick real easily, so I tend to, I get to help out here instead. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, there's a place for everyone. Well, um, actually to look for Captain Stern, you'll want to talk to this guy, uh, who is Doc, I think. Hmm? If this goes here and, uh, well, that goes over there, then where does this thing go? What about that doohickey? Oh man, you know, he's southern, using a word like doohickey. I can't make heads or tails of this. Home, me, I'm Doc. Say it just like that. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a ferry. Oh, and that there, are those uh, Devon goods? Mmm, this won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said he had some work to do. <laughs> uh, well, since I'm lazy and far too busy here, uh, could I get you to find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? <laughs> um, where could Captain Stern have gone off to? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I mean, technically, you're in charge here, Doc. But yeah, I'll do all the work. Large ships were like putting a big building. Yes, they, yeah. And that is true. Don't you think it's strange that a ship is made of heavy iron floats? Floats because of a principle called buoyancy. Ah, yeah, yeah. Lots to learn here if you've never uh, dealt with anything nautical or anything related to the sea. Or, you know, you just don't know. 
All right. Well, with that, we've checked out a lot of Slateport City. Um, and you may be wondering, you know, after all that, man, you know, where do I go next, you know? Uh, yes, 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 you can't trade, change the nickname, yes. You may be wondering, where do I go next? You know, what do I do? Well, if you remember, we saw that long line with all the, you know, hilarious grunts, you know, making all those jokes and stuff. But now you can see the doors of the museum is open. So that's kind of your clue. Now, let's see if that guy was lying earlier or not. The Endless Sea sustains all life. Yeah, yeah, he was lying, pretty sure. <laughs> Oceanic Museum. Yeah, never trust a T Mocker Grant. Uh, but yeah, so that's where you want to go, the Slateport Museum. But we're actually going to hold off on the plot a little while. And we're going to check out the battle tent in the next episode. So we'll do that. And. <laughs> All right, right, right. All right, so I've talked to everyone here. And this is sort of the tour of Slateport. So. Hope you guys enjoyed, and um, yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, man. I guess let's talk about the tour, man. <laughs> it's hilarious.